Hey everybody, Dr. Lulahan here again. I'm coming to you today from the beautiful clinic here at ABQ Scoliosis and Spine Therapy. And today I want to talk to you guys about exactly what is the Schroth Method. So first of all, scoliosis is a three-dimensional change that occurs within the spine. That means changes can occur on the X-plane, the Y-plane, and the Z-plane. Accordingly, the scoliosis must be addressed in all three dimensions to effectively and accurately make corrections. There's a lot of different treatments and methodologies and even braces out there that are focused too much on the correction of the Cobb angle. The Cobb angle is a change that's seen only in the frontal plane. That's why the Schroth method focuses on addressing the scoliosis in three dimensions. So we're not just improving a problem in one area and creating a problem in another. The Schroth method focuses on a few different principles. So all the way from the ground level to the highest difficulty of exercises there is breathing techniques that are involved. There's also elongation that we can incorporate as well. We focus on three-dimensional correction of the spine and finally we focus on muscle activation to bring it all together. The Schroth method is most effective when all four of these principles are utilized in concert. If you see behind me there's a station over here with some equipment set up. A lot of the equipment that we use may be unconventional in some settings but I'll tell you a little bit about what we use. So we might be working with some really long dowels but we also use shorter dowels as well. We might utilize something like this vinyl belt over my shoulder or this nylon strap. We can utilize these flat rectangular shaped rice bags and last but certainly not least our wedge shaped rice bags as well. Much of this equipment is utilized in the passive techniques that we use to achieve the 3D correction but some of it is also utilized in the active techniques as well. Ultimately we want your body to be able to perform these three-dimensional corrections without any outside help. So the Schroth method is called a method for a reason. There's no specific set of exercises that every person must perform. There's no program laid out from A to B that we will follow unwaveringly from start to finish. It's all highly variable and very specific to each person's curve and each person's level of function. You may have heard of the FitVP concept that applies to many weight training or aerobic training programs. The same concepts are applicable to the Schroth method as well. The method can vary in the frequency at which you perform the exercises, the intensity at which you perform the exercises, the time, meaning that you might have a different duration, the type of exercises that you're doing encompassed within the Schroth method, the volume of exercise overall that you end up performing, and progressions of these exercises as well all of which are highly variable and individualized to each specific person. If you or someone you know has scoliosis, the best thing you can do is find yourself a Schroth certified practitioner. Especially if you have a curve that a doctor has told you is too small to intervene with physical therapy or bracing and you've been told to just watch and wait. That mentality is largely outdated and can be quite dangerous during rapid periods of progression for the scoliosis. The largest and most comprehensive database that I know of is the Barcelona Scoliosis Physical Therapy School database of certified practitioners. I'll include a link in the comments down below. SSOL is another organization that is certifying practitioners here within the United States. Their database is not quite as comprehensive or up to date as BSPTS, but I'll put a link to that one down below as well. If you have any questions about scoliosis or the Schroth method, feel free to drop them below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you happen to be located in the Southwest, give us a visit at ABQ Scoliosis and Spine Therapy or our satellite clinic Scottsdale Scoliosis and Spine Therapy. I hope this information was helpful and I'll see you guys next time.